and tomorrow, which is the fourth day in a row. Yeah, they are hardy, but you really have to be safe in these yeah. conditions. Yeah, that this can is, be deadly. Yeah. I yeah. miss doing that. They're throwing hot water in the cold air. That was kind of fun. Oh, well, yeah. you could go back yeah, there you if you back wanted. To Minnesota. I could yeah, go visit great. this week. But our weather's changing <laughs> yes. around here. Yes, it cer certainly is. Um, we're not going to see that kind of cold, but you'll notice a good 10 or 15 degree drop. Right now, your temperature in Portland looks like this, 39. We are we have a dew point of 30, so it's going to take a lot to get those two to come together. There will be some areas of patchy fog, though, in the valley. Wind out of the southeast at about 9 miles per hour. Sunrise time, 734. Today's highs, we got up to 50. Portland, Vancouver, McMinnville, 54 for a high, as well as Salem. Uh, Hood River, though, only reached 37. We did get up to 40 in the Dalles. Madras's high was 34 degrees. Along the coast, we were pretty good. Once again, seeing those temperatures in the upper 50s. So many locations seen slightly above normal temperatures today. Now we're in the lower 30s at the lower end of the valley. Al Albany right now, Corvallis, Eugene, we're in the low 30s, Salem 35. So possibilities of not only seeing some areas of patchy fog, but you might even have some frost out there on the grass as you wake up tomorrow morning. The Dalles right now 36 and Hood River 35. Mount Hood Meadows now sitting at 40 degrees. You might be thinking, oh, that must be a typo. No, there's an inversion in place. So some of your higher elevations, your temperatures are a little bit warmer than what you have down in the valley where that colder air is trapped at the moment. Here's your ski report. No new snow, of course, for this entire week, but we're going to get more. Don't worry. A base of 77 inches at Timberline Meadows, 70 inches. Ski Bowl, just 21 inches, 64 inches for you, Mount Bachelor. So here's the plan. Let's time it out for you. Take a look at our rain and snow forecast. First, talking about that rain. So rain arriving for us Friday morning. We get through Saturday. Saturday, it's showers on and off, and for the most part, that next system really dives further to the south. But Sunday, now we're talking about the possibility of seeing some really cold air dive in from Canada, affecting pretty much the entire Pacific Northwest by way of colder temperatures. Yes, precipitation, but how much could we see and how low is it going to go? At this point, we're still about four or five days out, so we'll keep you updated as we get closer to that time period. But at this point, looking at some of those forecast models trying to put snow down into the valley floor. So it could be a situation where we only get a trace or we only see it fall, but it doesn't actually stick to the ground, which is another possibility. By Wednesday, most of it clearing out and our temperature is returning to more normal conditions. You know the places, Mount Scott, Parkdale, over to Cooper Mountain, those locations where you're right around 500 to 1,000 feet. We'll have to watch that closely as we go from Super Bowl Sunday evening all the way through Monday and then again Tuesday night. Watching for some of those really cold temperatures diving down here in the valley. Until then, tomorrow, our last partly cloudy and 53 day. Yeah, get out and enjoy it. Yes. Thanks, Natasha. Yeah. Still ahead, the